Good afternoon. This is the Northampton Disabilities Committee meeting. Call the roll. That's a match. Mr. Miller, this is the last one. Do we have a problem? We was called to order. We, apparently, we don't have any public here to uh, have any public comments. Uh, that's all I should. I guess she would call a roll. So, uh, could that be? Can we do that? Can we call, call a roll first? I've already read she emailed them to us. Well, I noticed my name is spelled wrong in here. I think I saw it spelled wrong in another one. It's D-U-P-S. Sorry, just none of them. How is it D-U-P-S. D-U-B-S. Yeah, it says D-A right now. Okay, it's D-U-B-S. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, so we, we can look at the minutes, we can't vote on them. Right. So. Okay. We can um, move that to the next. Just in September, we can look at them. She'll add it in June. June. So, um, next agenda in September, she'll add these minutes. Yeah, that's right. Just to the table, not to them. Yeah, I know. Cool, thanks. Yeah, yeah. We notice that today we do not have a quorum, so we cannot vote on the items. We, can meet, we cannot vote on the items. Is that right? Well, that's so. Well, let's, let's call the rule and anybody, people who are here. Marianne, you here. Yes, present. Regine Page. Present. Mr. Miller. Present. Mr. Miller. Present. Mr. Miller is not here. Jeremy, you're here. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> and Marie, you're here. Okay. So we have four. City members present. Four requires five members present. We do not have four. Right. Well, okay. I, I don't count as part of a quorum. Excuse me. We have four. <laughs> three, three and a half. <laughs> three members of a quorum. Uh, so, do we, a uh, member's asked, so do we put Chris, Judy, Emma, Patricia, Jim, and Anna? Um, yes. Um, so, Emma's, Emma, Janet, James, Hannah, Leticia, um, and did I, did I say Linda? Uh, oh, great. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Do, do we include Chris and Judy, though we know they're not ready up here? I mean, uh, um, maybe not. It, they, I think their terms expired as of June 30th. Okay. So, so um, they were signed about to They were reappointed to sign to take the Oh, they were reappointed, so now they have to uh, resign. So, um, so they were they are absent. Who that? Chris, Chris and Judy G. did reapply, but now they have resigned. We approved them, Jane and Judith and Chris with a full recommendation from City Council last year. Right, so they are absent. Right, yes. But, but they did send a letter to the mayor. That was sent immediately that same day. I told Chris to do it, and court got a hold of our council court to let all of us councilors know that they have resigned. Okay, so maybe maybe just put in the minutes that they've resigned, yes. and so they are not absent. That sounds good. So, first item on the agenda is membership, and that's what we're having right now. Okay. There were two um, two new two new, new members coming on, um, Rodney Kenneth Kenneth. How do you say his last name? Rodney Kunith. Kunith. Yes. Okay, he'll be joining. He's been us. approved also. 
they'll be joining us for the September meeting, and um, there's one more um, gentleman who is going. Michael Morris. 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 Yeah. Um, I'll, I can give you the spelling of his name later. Um, he'll be coming on in for the September meeting. Both of the September. Okay, so it's Kunath, K U N E T H? K U N A T H. Um, does that mean that we're, um, is there an opening for new members? Like, we, let's just, like, I guess you think about, like, who might, like, suggest or anything like that? Yeah, there are, there are spots open, um, depending on whether, um, James reapplies, which he hasn't yet let me know if he's going to or not, um, and, yeah, James Winston, and then, um, I don't, I do, yeah, because Chris and, because Chris and Judy resigned, there are, there are probably two spots. Okay, because there's a woman in the building that I live in, and uh, she's disabled, and Dominique, and mm -hmm. she might be interested, I let her know. Okay. Yes, and I also, I don't know what D Doug's idea, uh, if, you, if you're considering it, but uh -huh. because secretary is a council position, um, well, I, I've thought about this and talked to a couple of three people, and I'm I'm going to say no. Okay. I don't feel like I have an expertise in this area. Oh, I have an interest, but um, uh, and I really enjoy taking the notes. And notes okay, I'm I, doing I, that. But uh, I thought that you might have expertise because of the way that Chris Plum spoke about you. So. <laughs> um, 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 but he didn't give me particulars, so I just thought I would yeah. put that out there. He, did, he does a work program, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. Um, so so there's, no, there's no problem with my continuing to do that, is it? No. Okay. No. Yeah, volunteering to do the notes is great. Um, it's not great, it's wonderful. It's yes. wonderful. <laughs> it's nice. You still um, get credit for it. Yeah. So, um, we we could we we should recruit some more people. Yeah. Now, question. We have so many on the commission on disabilities, and then we upped it. Okay. You increased the number of members. right. How much? How much did we increase? Only one of thirteen. Right now, sir. Has the mayor cleared that? I didn't know that you had. I think you should ask. Increase the number. I thought the number was nine. So. Um, uh, uh, all those, I think, call for nine. Nine. Right. I but, will look at. Well, we have to get the clearance, Marita's, from the mayor if we can bring it up to that That's what we choose. And um, what was the reasoning behind bringing it? Chris wanted to bring it up. I don't remember it being brought up since I've been Oh here. yes. Yes, it was. Remember, Gene? Uh, I remember you. Yes. In the mention, the in the mention, right? So, in order to do something like that, it has to be posted for at least two weeks prior to and within the public that that is going to be put forth. So, we, we probably want to revisit that in September. I think you should talk to the mayor about it too, because he really doesn't like the big companies. Well, why don't we wait and see? see how it feels when we have all our new people here. But talk to them anyways, Marie, because I was going to talk to them about it too, because we got to see if we can get the clearance and not go in the future. Right, well, there's just, it's not always necessary, depending on... That's cute. Outside of this building, it's a little different. Um, so we could revisit that in some yes. time. So do the bylaws say uh, nine, or do they say up to we nine? We want to go up. Or what do they, are. is there any range in that? The reason for that was because we had people that were not showing up. Yeah. And so we wanted to increase that number so that we would. Uh, Motion to call 
kind of predicament where we cannot go ahead and vote at all. Yes. What did Bob all say exactly? I'm not sure. So, also, there always was like an attendance record. How many t times somebody calls in that's in the bottom of the two and a record should be kept on that. So, um, attendance is usually recorded in the minutes and then yes. I report when I get a call from someone right. and it goes in the minutes. Yes. And if they don't call, Especially when they know they're supposed to call. Right. So in the bylaws, there, if there isn't something, it should say that with unexcused absences where people don't let, let the committee know. Then right. They can do two a year. And that has happened. Right. Okay. Well, so when someone applies, yeah. the mayor asks me, it, how has their participation been? Have they come to meetings? If they don't ever show up, he may not reappoint them. Right. Because that's not helpful. Right. All, everybody on boards, committees, or commissions keep track of absentee. And we're notified ourselves of who doesn't call them now. It's not good. We cannot operate a meeting. That's good. Okay. So we got Marie, how many are on the senior board of trustees? Because we interviewed everyone. But how many is there? Uh, how many people are currently on the board? Right. Um, well, we have a couple of openings, yeah. but I think it's 15. Is I think we should wait until September and see because um, sometimes a large board a com commission can be very unruly and sometimes you can get more done when you have people who are very active and come. Yep. So I agree with that. So uh, we're going to wait until so we're going to September. Yep. Put the first on the agenda of September. And well, then we'll check the bylaws to be exactly so what we got and we do the right. I think what she's trying to say, which is common sense, if we stay at nine right now, she have got some new members coming in, and it really sounds like they want to work very hard and make things happen, and I agree with that. So I think in September, October, November, we're going to feel this out. Makes sense. Our first meeting is in September. But voting for uh, uh, when, when do we vote for the championship? October, is that right? October. So in the September meeting, we'll appoint a, uh, a chair, a vice chair, chair. A secretary. Me. <laughs> well, we will we'll, we'll appoint a uh, 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 nominee. Search a party in September. Okay. Sure. And hopefully the mayor will start talking with the mayor in East Hampton again. I just saw her sure. at a benefit. And hopefully we'll start moving on Marie's position. Sure. So, all right. So that, that, that looks like the membership. Next item on the agenda, which is critical, is a transition plan. Yes, that's I was, I was hoping Chris might be here to let it go alone. I think he's not here. Or, uh, I think Marie had already talked about that, Jim. We're going to have, she's going to schedule, right, or talk to another group, the educational part of it, the schools, all right? So we have a hearing. So my my concern was that I thought we should wait till the fall to do something in the schools. Yes, definitely. Because no, I don't believe that people are going to come out in August. They're not. So, so I think that um, I can try to set something up for September to happen in the schools. Even if it was October. 
Because when, when did they go back to school? In, in, right in after Labor Day? In the August. Is that the Labor Day? No, yeah, sometimes they're going back for Labor Day. Um, so I can look into that, and we also talked about having a forum or a, hear a public hearing uh, with the deaf community at the Clark School, but I'm not sure that um, we should do that in August either. I don't, I don't know. So That's not going to work. Okay, so... Maybe um, so. We should, we should we should plan on talking about it in September. Two hearings. One would be for schools and the other for the right. Why couldn't we do two in one week? All right. Well, I'll look at I'll right. look at availability yes. and um, um, because she's going to need time to talk with the superintendent and with her. All right, well, I'll talk with the mayor's office, too, about the best uh, plan going forward. And then um, I am, I did send out the transition plan draft to all the city department heads, and I am getting feedback from them also. So we'll, put you, we'll be on the agenda in September to give us the feedbacks. Yes, that would be great. Let's hear what the department heads have to say. One item on the agenda would be we should have the motion situation. Yes. Well in hand in September. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. Say that again, Gene. What should be well in hand by September? Our membership. Uh, our oh, membership. Where our membership, membership, membership is yeah, yeah. Stand, should be well, standing. Yeah. Should be well in hand by September. Um, on this feedback from the department heads, are they talking to you directly, or are they sending you an email? They're sending me an email with their feedback. Can you have those emails printed out for our next meeting in September? Yes. Thank you. That way that communication is flowing right into this committee. Thank you. Okay. Do we have any new business that we hadn't planned to have? That's not. I'd like to all. Uh, Let's thank. I, I do, I'd, I'd like to thank Chris and Judy. And all of them. We have to thank. Thank you. You know, they, they, they're not coming back. I'd like to, I'd like to feel some, somebody to thank. I'll send a note to them. Should we send a note to them from the, from the uh, this organization that you have to show up. Sure. And we can also look at sending them something else. We could send them to the basket. Public Commission on Disabilities. That could be ordered at State Street and store and delivered to their home. I don't know if there are restrictions on the use of the Commission funds or not. I don't know how that's been handled in the past. It just has to talk to Susan Wright. It has to be worth less than $50. Yes. yes. How much? Less than $50. Oh, yeah. right. But there's speculations. When we and the other counselor and I made the recommendations of the money from handicap parking, because there was never anything in place for it, I and the counselor Tracy sat down with the mayor, and that's why you're getting money now. Because I'm of not getting money. Oh no, but we're getting it. You're on the committee. We're getting it. I understand. I, I'll um, I'll find out if there were any, if there's any um, conflict of interest. On sending that. On purchase using commission funds to purchase a fruit basket. Yes. <laughs> My understanding is that it's not it's not proper use of but we I can certainly we've, send a letter of appreciation. I know we've used money for like the Christmas party that we had and so forth. Right here. Way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And well, that was all the fact is if we keep losing money, 
for handicapped parking like we are in the city right now, we're still having that problem on King Street. What problem? Um, so il uh, parking of vehicles um, blocking accessibility of the Trust. sidewalk. So, um, oh yeah, I've that, that, that one before. Yeah. Right. So it's, it's, in it's, it's in the plan. I know yes. this. So uh, it's time to adjourn the wrong meeting. Why right? second that? Well, it's not a non-meeting. It's just uh, <laughs> <laughs> to, to, to adjourn the meeting that doesn't have uh, sufficient uh, numbers. Yeah, I mean, we are sort of at a place where um, we, we don't have a lot of work to do here because we are trying to do it out in the community. and. Um, a lot of work is happening. Um, department heads are reviewing the plan. They are giving feedback. Um, I think the summer is that's a good time for them to be doing that. And I will look into setting up another public forum for as soon as September is, seems feasible for like October. the community. Late September, maybe. Um, Please do not book it for the first Monday on the first Monday of the month, whatever months, and also the first and third Thursday. That's City Council. Yeah, I'll check your schedule. And I will. Big time. Um, and I, I also, you know, I think it is important to get public feedback, but I also think that we need to weigh how much, how much more comment we need exactly. before we're going to ask I agree. the city to bring it to City Council because we, we don't want this to drag out too long and um, well and if we feel we look at all the feedback we've gotten and we feel like we have had we've gotten enough that we don't have to prolong it by having more public forums um, but maybe we haven't heard from everyone we want to hear from yet you're so. talking about the public yes okay because my concern even with chris all right, is making sure we hit the educational part of it here in the city because we have so many children with disabilities. Well, is that reflected in the plan enough that you feel like I think we still need to feedback? Yeah. Okay, because every I think that all the topics that we've some of the parents about, that I've talked to, they never even knew about this. But but is I guess my what I'm asking is there something that's missing from the no. draft? No, that but you I think, think people need. I think, we want to add. I I think you have opened it up once already. Okay. And yes, we do have a good group size crew. But I feel we are obligated to reach out, you know, to the schools, showing the transparency and communication, which is extremely valuable to me as a city councilor, of letting the parents know. This is what we are. This is what we all about. We want to hear from you directly. Okay. Is there a problem here? And there is a draft here. And they could bring something forth that we don't have on there. Okay. Well, that's what I was yes. asking. Okay. So we, yes. we will try to schedule a form. Right, and I'll be happy with that. Okay. Even if that's a one-shot deal. <laughs> because I think what I heard with the first one, was going to be exactly what I expected to be. Yeah, we want to give people the opportunity to exactly. add their input. Um, and even, like I said, if you want to add on another hearing besides the educational part of it with the children and the parents, we could do it the same week. It's not the first time us council have done that. Okay. So, is there a motion for adjournment? Move to adjournment. And everybody have a nice summer. Uh -huh. See you in September. Yes. Okay. Good luck.